Hi, I'm Dominic Sable, Chief Engineer and CEO of Timpanic Media, and I'm very excited to have with me today the new Anubis for Merging Technologies. A lot of people have questions about the Ravenna ecosystem, so I'm happy to be here to shed some light on how it all goes together and how you can integrate it into your workflow, whether you're in a multi-room production facility or setting up a compact mobile rig. If you're new to Ravenna, it's difficult to explain the breadth of the capabilities of this system. For me personally, I make a lot of mobile recordings, big multi-tracks with multi-cams, and I need to send cues out here, there, and everywhere else, and I want it to be a really elegant, compact solution. The reason this Ravenna technology is so exciting is because it packs an incredible amount of features into a very small footprint, or a very large footprint if you'd rather. This is a very exciting little box. You can configure this hardware to do pretty much whatever you want. So the more you understand what it can do, the better you can use it to serve your own purposes. We're gonna show you how to set up for Mac, PC, whether you're using Pyramix, Pro Tools, whatever DAW of choice, We'll get you confident on this technology so it works for you and the way you want to design your system. So let's dive right in and get started using our new Anubis interface. All right, so let's open this thing up and see what's in the box. So we've got a quick start guide and it has some information about the power cable. We have a very nice zippered case. And inside is our Anubis. And then we have a power supply. And we also have just a standard IEC cable. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to pay attention to is the power cable on this is very clever. On this barrel, we have these tiny little fins. And that's a clever little way to keep the power from falling out accidentally. So what we'll wanna do is make sure that the fins are lined up with the slits so we can plug it in and twist. And now we're locked in, we won't accidentally lose power. If powering your devices with a transformer isn't your thing, you can also power it via PoE, or power over ethernet, which is provided by some network switches, or you can get a PoE injector. I picked one up for about $15 from Ubiquity. And then you don't need the power cable at all, which makes it an even more compact sort of platform. On the bottom, we have a 3 8 threaded slot for screwing on top of a microphone stand if you're short on space wherever you're set up. So we've got two Neutrik combo jacks for a mic or line input for channels one and two. And then we have XLR outs for our main outs. Additionally, we have two TRS balanced outputs in quarter inch. And then we have GPIO or MIDI on quarter inch as well. On the front of the device, we have headphones at either end. We have two Q mixes available to us here. And we also have two line or instrument jacks. On the top of the unit, we have a large touchscreen display, a rotary knob, and seven soft keys. We have a home button. We have our A or B speaker set. We have our headphone selection. We have a mute or a dim, and we have a talkback. So now that we have a basic understanding of the layout of the Anubis, let's make sure we're on all the latest firmware and software so we can get it connected to our Mac and to our PC. For our Anubis, we're going to need three pieces of software to configure it. We're going to need the latest firmware for the Anubis. We're going to need either the ASIO or the core audio driver for Ravenna, based on whether you're using Mac or PC as your platform. And you're also going to need Animan, which is a network management tool for Ravenna networks. So let's go to the support page of Merging's website, and we'll go to all latest downloads. From here, we'll pick up the Animan network manager for Windows or Mac, whichever is appropriate. And we'll also get the Ravenna driver. Now, if we're on a Mac, we're going to need the premium version, regardless of which DAW we choose. And if we're on PC, we're going to need the ASIO driver, unless we're using a mass core system. Now we can click on ADDA interface downloads and get the latest Anubis firmware. So this is the firmware that we'll need, regardless of whether we're on Mac or PC. So let's go ahead and download that as well. Once we have everything we need, we can install Animan. Just a couple of clicks following the prompts should make for a really quick installation. But 
now that we have Animan installed, let's go ahead and make our connections. So let's go ahead and we're going to plug in a standard Cat6 Ethernet cable. And you can also use Cat5e. So that's it on this end. Here we can make a point-to-point -point connection with either a Mac or a PC. If you don't have a network port built into your computer, you can use an external adapter. Just use whatever adapter is appropriate for your system and connect that to your computer. So now that we have our connection made, we can head back over to Animan and update the firmware on the Anubis. It's very easy to do. We're going to right click and we're going to select web services. And then we're going to say maintenance because we want to put the device into maintenance mode. Now immediately we have the option to select a file. So we're going to select that. And in our downloads folder where we downloaded the latest firmware, we're going to select our firmware dot Anubis and then just hit open. Now we'll say update and it'll do its thing. You can notice here that the screen is blinking and it says, do not turn off. This message is very important. If you've ever updated the firmware on a device before, you'll know that you can potentially brick your unit by interrupting a firmware update. So we're going to very gently set this down and let it do its thing. Now that the firmware has updated, we can reboot the device. Now that we have everything connected and the software installed, in the next video, we'll take a look at how we can configure it for our needs.